Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medicos Hub. This is my 6th lecture on citric acid cycle and I am going to discuss the anaplerotic reactions in this video. Ana means to make while kata means to break. So these anaplerotic reactions are basically the reactions which will ensure the replenishment of the intermediates of citric acid cycle so that it may continue. Now what are those reactions? which enables it to continue in forward direction. So pyruvate, most important anaplerotic reaction is the formation of oxaloacetate from pyruvate. This step is mediated by pyruvate carboxylase and it requires ABC that is ATP biotin and CO2. Another component which can become converted to oxaloacetate is aspartate. Aspartate can be converted to oxaloacetate by transamination. It is very important step. This is another step for formation of oxaloacetate. Now alpha ketoglutarate. Glutamate can also be converted to alpha ketoglutarate by transamination or deamination. is the third step which results in anaplerosis. Then various amino acids and compounds can be converted to succinyl coenzyme A like methionine, threonine, valine, isoleucine and propionine coenzyme A. These can also be converted to succinyl coenzyme A. Then glucogenic amino acids can be degraded to fumarate. Pyruvate can also be converted to malate in presence of enzyme malic enzyme in presence of CO2 and NADPH. So this is the step 4, 5 and 6. So these are the various steps which act as anaplerotic reactions to replenish the intermediates of TCS cycle. Hit the like button, share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.